Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another cleaning motivation. If you are new here, hello and welcome! I am so happy you're here. In today's video, I'm going to tackle my kitchen cabinets, deep clean, declutter, and organize it. This is a complete disaster project that I've been wanting to do for a while now but don't have enough time on my hands. So today is the day. Let's do this guys! This is the third part of my spring cleaning slash deep cleaning series. If you haven't seen the two previous video, I created a playlist for you to binge so you can get the most motivation you need. I will link it in the description box below so be sure to check it out. You can definitely watch it in any order. My house is pretty small but there's a lot to clean so I divided my house by room or space to deep clean. I'm a busy full-time working mom and don't have a lot of time on my hands to deep clean and get my house looking shiny and perfect all the time. I took a few extra days off from work and used those time to get my house in shape again. I started deep cleaning my living room then moved on to my kitchen and it feels so good to just get it done. If you are cleaning with me today or just watching and trying to get some motivation to get up and tackle your own mess at home, then stay tuned! If this is your first time visiting my channel, hello and welcome! My name is Sel, I am a wife and a working mom to an 8 years old sweet boy. I hope you consider subscribing for more cleaning motivation like this, organization, and mom life. I upload new video every single week. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. You are the best and I really appreciate you. So my goal today is to give my kitchen cabinet some good cleaning and wiping inside and out. I need to get rid of all these things on top which are mostly trash. I have a lot of things inside my cabinets and drawers that I know I can part ways since it's either I don't use them anymore because it's broken or I just simply don't want to keep them anymore. I need to be practical and make space or give home for what I actually use on a regular basis and what fits in my kitchen. As you see, I have a small kitchen and also not a lot of cabinets so I really need to purge Keep only what I love and what matters. In this cabinet, I have all my coffee tumblers, coffee mugs, I have some actual coffee here, vitamins, medicines, chocolates, you name it. It's random stuff in here so I'm gonna try to organize this a little bit better. I know I have a few coffee tumblers that I don't use anymore because they're not keeping my coffee warm anymore so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also checking expiration dates whether it's medicine or food and discard those ones that are already out of date. To clean inside my cabinets, I'm gonna vacuum it first to get rid of all the buildup dust and crumbs and then I'm gonna go on and wipe this with my Lysol multi-purpose cleaner and use my cleaning cloth.
ask me what's the room I stay in If I didn't know any better I'd probably give you my plastic key card Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you keep everything that you have in your kitchen, even those gadgets that you don't use anymore or you just don't use at all, or do you just keep everything that you use on a regular basis? Under here, I have my pots and pans, and then I put these marble looking liners just to make this look a little pretty. And then I get this white tray looking thing from Target. I really like this because it has wheels on the bottom so it slides in and out smooth and easy. Be honest guys, how many Tupperwares do you have in your kitchen that doesn't have lid? I recently just purchased mine from Target but I'm still holding on and keeping those old ones that have stains. Honestly, I don't know why but today I'm going to get rid of those.
You know I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd There was something about you cause you In this cabinet, I have all my plates and my bowls Since those are the dishes that I use the most I like them to be close to the dishwasher So that it makes putting dishes away after washing them a little bit easier I said you can do what you want to with me Yeah, I won't mind as long as you stay with me, I'm alright. I wanna hold ya. I wanna hold ya. You got those red lips, blue eyes, black skinny jeans, and every room you walk into, you're always setting the scene. I wanna. Club and we started walking the streets and then we stopped for a while and you said you wanna kiss me I remember thinking is this really happening, happening, happening I never thought I'd meet someone so beautiful I couldn't quite believe it, it was magical Just kissing on the street lights on our way back home Our way back home, our way back home I said you can do what you want to with me, yeah I won't mind as long as you stay with me, I'm alright. I wanna hold ya. Since it's getting pretty late and I still need to get dinner ready, I continued my nastiest and dirtiest cabinets the next day. But look at all these things that I got rid of my kitchen. It just feels amazing having home and space just for what I actually need and use. How'd you do? 
I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time I'm not broken, not broken, not broken How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Here I'm just adjusting my shelf to go a little bit higher so that I can put whatever I need to put in the middle part because the shelf is sitting a little bit lower and what I needed to go in the middle doesn't fit. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. dirtiest and nastiest cabinet you've probably ever seen i'm using vinegar and baking soda and soaking it for a little bit before i scrub it while i'm wiping all my condiments and checking all expiration dates and discarding all that are out of date After all that scrubbing and getting rid of all that oil buildup, I'm just finishing this by wiping it with my cleaning cloth and multi-purpose cleaner.
nights I got too high and almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk I hope you find this video motivating and helpful. I hope I inspire you to get up and tackle your own mess at home. If I did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and share this to a friend to inspire them as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you'll be notified every time I upload my new videos. If you wanna follow and connect with me, you will find my Instagram account link in the description box below. Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, yeah I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Been feeling something for you lately And I am trying so hard To just stay cool Oh man I think I might be going crazy Cause all I really, really want Is to be with you And I'm like I'm saying we're just friends But thinking you're my man Baby, if you knew Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm doing just fine But I'm scattered, scattered And I cry when you're not around Because it matters, matters Dreaming of your kisses In the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing But I feel like Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm fine Thank you all so much for watching I really appreciate you And I will see you all again on my next video Bye!